Let me show you how to prepare a netlist of a circuit using a schematics version of PSPI. So on these slides we have a netlist prepared manually in PSPI, not schematics. Uh, we have a step input to RC circuit C1 micro farad and R10 ohm resistance and um, our trace is a mesh current. Yeah. So to prepare a netlist in schematics version, at first we have to create a circuit using a get new part a browser at the right side we have the browser and we have selected a switch here and then also we have to connect these elements to using a draw wire button okay so uh, now we have this circuit diagram created the next step is setting values of circuit parts uh, we have to set at first values of all these three elements and also value of uh, uh, of a switch, a transition time has been set here, and also a closed resistance and open resistance, uh, 0, 0, 001 ohm for closed and uh, 1 mega ohm for, op for open. So please observe that at the open position, this switch is not infinitely large resistance, it is resistance of 10 mega ohm or 1 mega ohm, like here. Uh, also, it is recommended to set uh, initial condition to zero, otherwise, uh, our um, calculation will be completely false simply at t less than zero when a switch is in open position we have one mega ohm connected here and this capacitor is charged to uh, 10 volt at t equals zero we don't have uh, after changing position of the switch we don't have any transient uh, state simply we are changing this resistance from very uh, large to very small but it will not change current in the circuit which is zero uh, so we have to set initial condition of capacitor equal zero okay next step is analysis setup so we have to select transient in analysis setup here and then we have to uh, we have to click here after selecting transient and then we have to set um, a final time which is uh, obviously it is a matter of experience uh, five milliseconds and also step ceiling well in uh, we may omit this it is not necessary to uh, uh, to select a uh, step ceiling, but uh, in this case, let me assume that this is one microsecond, much less than the final time. Okay, so now we are ready to simulate our, our circuit. At first, we have to save this file, and then we have to press this simulate button, and uh, simulation is started. Now, please observe that the schematics assigns notes automatically and this assignment can be found in netlist uh, and this netlist can be found here analysis examine netlist or in the output file here we have a schematics netlist uh, from analysis examine netlist it is possible to assign another label to each node but uh, i'm not going to discuss this issue okay so we have an output um, uh, sorry this is a netlist so when simulation is completed we have an output file in this output file we have a netlist um, we may view this uh, output file this is a part of output, fi uh, output file a netlist and response can be viewed in probe window after adding trace so we have to add trace and so this is once again repeated an output file and after selecting trace we have to uh, we may see this uh, response which is obviously identical as the response that we have obtained before uh, using a not schematics version so let me now very briefly show once again all these steps but live i'm gonna press this link okay and that way i have already prepared this uh, circuit diagram so to get part i have to click on a part browser let's say uh, capacitor so we are looking for c c place okay and then the right button and capacitor is placed if you want to rotate control r rotates capacitor okay so that way we have created close we have created uh, this circuit diagram so now we are ready uh, well also uh, it's been already preset, but let me show you how to set this 
Okay, so this is switch. Already, this trust in time is set here, 0, 0, 001. Uh, R at closed position and R at open position. Okay. Uh, what regards the capacitance, double click on the capacitance and um, its initial condition value is one microsecond, uh, a mi microfarad and its initial condition here is zero. Okay, so that way we have our circuit nearly ready to be simulated. We have to uh, now select transient, okay, and we have to select a print step, well, which is zero because there is no print uh, in this exemplary circuit, final time and step ceiling. Okay, okay, and now we are ready to start a simulation. So let me press simulate. Okay, so we have a simulation and a result is here. We may add trace. Our trace add trace is current. That mesh current. Okay, so this is the result. So that way I have shown you how to um, operate uh, uh, PSPICE when we are using a schematics version.